In this video, we will cover asset types you can use in Adobe Dimension CC and how to search for, license, and manage assets in the application, including assets from Adobe Stock's 3D Asset Collection. Let's get started with a quick overview of the types of assets you can use in Dimension. First, we have models. These are 3D objects you can use in your scene. Then, we have materials, which we can use to create realistic models. Materials can be applied to any 3D model surface to dramatically change their look and feel. Next, let's look at lights. Change the whole mood and ambience of this scene by switching to a new image-based light. Illuminate the scene with an image that gets rotated around the whole environment. And finally, we have images. You can use image files in many different ways in Adobe Dimension. We can use an image as a material and also to add graphics as layers over materials. I can also use the image as a background and even create an image-based light from the image to light the scene. We can change the properties of a material by using images for roughness and to alter its metallic properties. The assets we just covered are free and come shipped with the application. You can easily bring in your own assets into Dimension. If you already have images in the library, just drag them into the scene to use as a background or an environment light, a graphic, or as part of a material. If you are looking for more options, you can search for and license assets from Adobe Stock. For example, say I want to find a different type of 3D model to use in my scene. Once I find what I like, I can license this directly from inside the application. When it syncs to my library, I can bring it into my scene. You can also go directly to the Adobe Stock website. Once you're signed in, any asset you license will sync with your library and you will be able to use it directly in your Dimension project. Of course, even though I got this asset from stock, you can bring assets you get from anywhere into the application by importing from the file menu or dragging and dropping from your desktop. Check our HelpX documentation for our ever-expanding list of file types that can be imported into the application. And that's our overview on how to search for, license and use assets in Adobe Dimension CC. Thanks for checking out this video and we can't wait to see what you make!